Hello and welcome back to a brand new episode of PHT TV and welcome back to another What's in the Box. We unboxed and disassembled the RP1000SW a few weeks back, but with these guys being on back order, it took us a little bit longer than expected to get the big guy in the line, the RP1600SW in for a shoot. That said, here we are and I'm ready to check it out. Hopefully you guys are too. Before we unbox though, I do want to reiterate a few things that I had mentioned in the previous episodes in the 1000SW video. First off, my favorite thing about the brand new line is the fact that it shows that Clips cares and listens. This model, this series is designed around me, it's designed around you guys. The new line is designed around the people that use these products daily. It's designed around the customers. Klipsch has been listening to requests. They have been listening to what you guys like, what you guys don't like, and what you'd like to see in the new subwoofer line. And it's all here. The new subwoofer line has been completely redesigned. And this here is the biggest and the baddest in the line. Now, I said it already, so for those of you who missed the RP1000SW video, let's go ahead and let past Jason tell you what's new about this line. Brand new basket, brand new magnet structure, brand new amp, new knobs, new feet, new cabinet, new aerofoil port design, and just an all around brand new sub. Now, I'm gonna go over each of these components as we unbox and as we disassemble. So before we go any further, let's get this big guy out of the box and see what we're working with. It is highly recommended to have a second person when unboxing these. The RP1600SW weighs 110.9 pounds, so unboxing is not the easiest of tasks. You do run the risk of hurting yourself and potentially also damaging the subwoofer if you ignore this recommendation. So grab a buddy, offer him a beer or something, and get this guy out of the box with two people. I'm going to cut the tape and go over the accessories, and I'll be grabbing a helper myself. Now, the first thing you're going to see when you open up the top is going to be the accessories box. This has your grill, your power supply, and your manual. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the grill out. Now, I'm not gonna pull the manual out of the box or the power cable out of the box. You guys know what those look like, but the grill I am gonna unbag and show you because it is different from the previous generations. In previous generations, it was just a flat grill. In this newer generation, they actually had to extend the grill and push it out a bit. If I hold it sideways, you should be able to see the distance where it actually pops out. Essentially, the grill was designed to allow for further excursion of the driver itself. So if you turn it around back, you can see the circle as the driver is pounding. It will not interfere. It will not pound on the grill cloth as you're going here. As a matter of fact, let me go ahead and grab. Here is your previous generation grill. And here is your new gen grill. You can see the difference alone in just the depth right there. Have the background here. All right, now I'm gonna set this off to the side. All right, so the next step is to roll the box over. You wanna pay special attention to which direction you're rolling the box. As you can see from this top camera, the feet are on the top. So when we flip it, the feet are gonna end up on the bottom and the sub is gonna be upright. Basically what we're going to do is keep all of the weight on this foam while we roll it. Once it's flipped, you'll pick up the box, remove the additional foam, which is now on top, tilt the sub forward and remove the back foam, then backwards to remove the front foam and you are unboxed. And as I mentioned before, you do want two people when you are pulling this guy out of the box. So I have a special friend, a special guest for you guys today. My dad is actually on set with us today to help us unbox the RP1600SW. Come on over. So basically what we're gonna do, what we're gonna wanna do is roll to the front and keep all of the weight on the foam. So we're gonna flip this way, kind of keep the hand on it there, and we'll shove back. We'll bring it forward. And we lift. And then we have some of our additional packing materials here. These are to protect the corners. So next we are gonna move the back foam first. So this is the front. You can actually, you can't see the driver from your angle, but this is actually the front of the subwoofer. So we're gonna tilt forward and remove that back foam first. And set it down. Then we're gonna tilt backwards and remove the back foam. Get these guys out of the way. And we are out of the box with the 1600SW. So thank you for your help. 
Not a problem. <laughs> All right, and here you have the RP1600 SW out of the box and ready to shake the house, or in my case, ready to go over some details and then take it apart. Let's talk about a couple of things before we take it apart though. First off, the port. It looks fairly similar to the previous generation, but it's actually been totally redesigned, as I mentioned earlier. We will discuss this further when we disassemble though, so you'll be able to see the full structure from the inside. Next, I wanna talk about the feet. Now, you'll wanna be careful if you roll it up to take a look at the feet, so not to sit on the heat sink, but here you have the feet. They have been completely redesigned, and I've chatted with Tony Martin, the industrial designer, about these feet, and essentially they're designed around the concept of spike feet. When you look at it from the front angle, it looks like a speaker spike, but with the weight of the sub, you don't want a spike digging into your ground as it pounds, as it shakes. So we have an elongated spike with a white rubber bottom to cover all the bases when avoiding damage to all flooring types. All around, a much better design for the foot. Now, around back, let's take a look at the redesigned amp panel. First off, we have bright white knobs, which is different from previous generations. Then when you look at it from the top, you can actually see that there's a magnifying glass to further highlight your current settings. Now, on, off, auto, ins, outs, pretty much all going to be the same from previous generations. So let's go ahead and move forward with the disassembly part here. Now, I did save the bottom and top for last. On this particular design, it's not gonna be as important. On older generations, you had to worry about gravity. Magnet structure is gonna weigh more, so it's going to tilt backwards when you pull it out. But with the new cabinet design, with the new um, internal bracing, we don't really have to worry about that because when we take out this last screw, essentially it's just not gonna move at all. Because what's happening inside is it's actually got a grip on the magnet. So it's actually gonna be significantly more difficult to remove the driver with the new cabinet bracing because it's actually gonna grab the magnet. So what we're gonna do is we're just kinda gonna work our way around the edges. Once it gets to a certain point, you wanna be extra careful. That magnet is gonna come free of the internal cabinet bracing. So you want extra support holding onto the top here because it's, wanna, it's going to wanna jerk backwards as soon as that happens. All right, so we're almost there. So I'm gonna hold extra onto this bottom and the top. So that as I pull it out, okay, we just made it past the magnet, or past the, ugh. So now what we're gonna wanna do is rotate a bit so that you guys can see it. And then we'll pull off the negative first. Press a little bit on this, pull it off. And then do the same over here and release. And here you have your absolutely massive 16 inch driver for the new RP1600SW, for the all new RP1600SW. Giant triple stack magnet structure huge basket, 16 inch woofer. All around, just a beastly design here. And it is for sure not light. I set that off to the side and you can kind of get a hint at the internal cabinet bracing here, but before I actually show you the internal cabinet bracing and the new internal cabinet design, I'm gonna flip it around back and we will pull off the amp see it with light going all the way through. The amp shouldn't go anywhere as we try and pull that out because it is inset and it's been there for a little while. So pretty set in its place, set in its ways, but we always want to keep an extra hand on this as we pull out the last screw. With any component, you always want to keep a hand on it as you pull out that last screw because it does have a chance of falling out. We don't want this brand new amp to fall out here. All right. Now, one note that I will mention here as well is we do have one final piece that is still attached. So we have these connectors to the woofer that have been disconnected, but you do have one more component. So if you're pulling this out at home by yourself, 
make sure you don't just start yanking because we have this last cable here. Pull that out. And what that is, is that is the front LED. So it tells you when it's on and off. All right, and here is your RP1600 SW amp panel. First off, before we go any further, I'm gonna show you the, uh, the bright white knobs, the new bright white knobs. We do have an additional heat sink on the back too here. And then when you flip, flip this way, if you guys were unable to see it in previous, I'm gonna show you these knobs here. You rotate and you can actually see the highlight in the magn highlight magnifier there. So you can see exactly what setting you're on. Then we'll flip around back and we will see the actual amp itself. So this thing has been completely redesigned. It is significantly beefier from previous generations and it's essentially designed to take anything that you can possibly throw at it. This thing is a beast. Amp out, driver out. Let's take a look at this internal cabinet bracing. I'll go ahead and shove this light in here so you guys can see what's going on. All right, so this is coming in from the rear. So if you came in through the amp panel, you can come in and you can kind of see the, first off, this new port design. Shift the light around so you can see it a little bit better there. Now, the port design is actually going from the all the way in the back of the cabinet. You can kind of see it goes under here all the way to the front of the cabinet. So there is your new internal port design. It is called a new aerofoil port design and you can kind of see the, uh, the directionality of it. It kind of, it's designed around the wings of an airplane. Next, we're gonna take a look at our internal bracing. So we have bracing that goes from the top all the way down to the bottom right here. And then a second layer right here. This is the back of where the driver comes through. So we have a layer that goes all the way around and here is your support for the driver. So your magnet slides through the front and sits right there. Now, if we enter through the front, this is the driver side. You can see a little bit better where the, you can see a little bit better where the magnet shoots in and sits right here. So the magnet rests on there, holding it completely steady. Then you can kind of also see, let me pull out the light. Here is the port right at the bottom here. Goes all the way to the back of the cabinet and then comes back around here and you can kind of see a little better. It's an aerofoil port design designed around the wings of an airplane. The length of the cabinet is actually designed around the desired length of the port. So that kind of lends to the longer nature of these subwoofers. All right, guys, that is the brand new RP1600 SW out of the box and out of the cabinet, taken apart. Brand new magnet structure, brand new amp, brand new knobs, new feet, new cabinet, new aerofoil port design, just an all around brand new sub. And like I said a bunch of times, it is all based on you. It is all based on me. It is all based on what the customers have requested. Clips just listened and created a monster. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe below and we'll see you again next time for another episode of PHT TV.